All right, in this video, I'm going to show you, continue my series of showing you the locations of some of the famous photographs that were taken uh, shortly after the Battle of Gettysburg. Remember the last time we focused on the ones that were in the Rosewoods, and they were located right in this area right here. And today we're going to focus on the area around Devil's Den, which is down here. And to get to Devil's Den, again, you come out the Emmitsburg Road, you make a left here at the Peach Orchard, follow that down to Crawford Avenue, and then you can park right here in Devil's Den. Now to give yourself some point of reference, this is Little Round Top, and Big Round Top is down this way. But again, we're going to focus on this area right here around Devil's Den. This area out here across from Devil's Den and this clearing is sometimes referred to as the Slaughter Pen. Uh, Plum Run or Bloody Run would run down through the, this area here that you might hear references to. One of the other parts of the battlefield that you might hear reference to is the Triangular Field. The Triangular Field is located on just the other side of Devil's Den and it runs right along this tree line right here to this point, runs along this path, and then back up to the top near the road. And there's a little gate that sits right here at the top of the triangular field. So again, down along this tree line, over this way, and then back up to the top. This is the area where soldiers from Texas, Alabama, and Georgia would have attacked from, and they would have attacked against soldiers that were from Maine, New York, um, Pennsylvania, would have been along in this area right through here, fighting to defend them off. So let's start looking at some photographs. The first one is probably the most famous one, is the dead sharpshooter that was taken in this area of the battlefield. There are two large rocks here right just next to this, or just a short distance away from this large tree at the top of Devil's Den. This tree is actually a witness tree, and you can uh, go visit that tree. But right next to it here in the area is the dead sharpshooter, and this is one of the most famous photographs that was ever taken at the Battle of Gettysburg. And it was actually a stage photograph, and this body was actually drug up over the hill to this location. And under high resolution, it's really cool that you can be able to look at. Here's his cartridge box. Here's his hat. You can see the blanket that he's laying on. Um, there's an Enfield musket. They called him a sharpshooter, even though this, uh, excuse me, a, a Springfield musket. This musket is not not actually a, a sharpshooter's musket. There's some kind of bag back in here. You can see debris that litters the ground. There's some kind of piece of equipment that's laying right here. So all these little things that you can look at inside of this uh, this picture, it's really cool to be able to, to go and see that, but that picture was taken right here in that location. What people don't know is that body was actually dragged from this location all the way up here to that, and this is what the original picture looks like, and this rock is right here, and you can go see this, and you can match up the buttons, and you can match up the hand, and here's that same musket that the photographer used. Uh, to take this, Alexander Gardner and Timothy O'Sullivan took the pictures of these dead bodies in and around Devil's Den and the Rosewoods. And there's that same musket and that same body. And the photographer actually um, took that picture about right there and then drug it over here. So about 75 yards or so up over the hill to that location. So it's one of the interesting things and you can go and visit that. Another popular rock is the one that sits over here at the entrance of Devil's Den and that is one of the famous sketch archers, Alfred Wode. And Alfred Wode was a sketch artist for Harper's Weekly and was in Devil's Den uh, shortly after the battle making sketches and you can go and sit on that rock right there at the entrance to Devil's Den to be able to um, put your foot, there's a little crack in the rock right there where you can put your foot and sit there and be able to pose you know, right there at the entrance to Devil's Den. Another one that's very famous are these two dead Confederates. This picture here was taken right across the road from where Alfred Wood was sitting, and there's these rocks right here. So you can see the rocks in this area this is where these, this picture was taken. You can actually line up this crack right here in the rocks and see it. This rock is still available as well. Uh, there's some famous photographs that were actually taken later on in the year. Uh, John Reynolds' brother was taken in this area. So this famous photograph of these two soldiers is, um, was taken right in this area. I always wondered what the conversation was. The photographer took the picture of Alfred Wode, and then there's these dead soldiers right here, which is really interesting. Another um, location that's not visited very often is what is known as the Troth Rock. 
And the trough rock sits out here. And this rock is, um, you can see in this photograph, is where a horse was drinking out of it. Historian Timothy Smith says that this rock um, was used for the photography studio that used to sit out in this area by uh, the Tipton Photography Studio. Uh, there was a park out here and people would use and the, the owners of the photography studio would use this rock to feed water to their uh, photography studio. And you can see the locations where the uh, there are straps that hold the, the pipes down and things like that. And you can see the markings of all the pipes and that sort of thing. So Timothy Smith would say that that's, uh, that was used for the photography studio that was over here. Another, um, another famous photograph here is this staged dead. Uh, I call it stage dead. But this photograph is, shows a little round top in the background. This is the back side of Table Rock. And you can, again, line up these. And we know that they're stage dead because there's no leaves on the trees and the bodies look pretty healthy. And that photograph was taken right here, the camera angle looking this way, uh, was taken right here on the back side of you know, what they call table rock, which sits on the, the very big rock that sits on top of the Devil's Den. Some people call it the Pink Panther Rock because if you sit down here in the parking lot and you look up, you can actually looks like the head of the Pink Panther. Another famous photograph was taken from uh, inside of Devil's Den or this area here looking out toward uh, the slaughter pen and it shows this famous slant rock. This is a, I believe they call it a stereograph and right in here is this famous slant rock and you can see there's several different versions of this. There's a version of this photograph where there's a soldier standing on this rock. Uh, you can see a dead body here. You can see some other dead bodies under the high resolution version that you can get from the Library of Congress. It's the same sides. Uh, this is the same image on, on two sides of the plate. So here is the slant rock on, in, and whatnot. And you can go and you can find this slant rock and stand on it and get an idea. You can see dead bodies located throughout um, this particular area. And it is located right here inside of um, the slaughter pen area. And then another famous photograph that was taken of the dead was taken really close to that, you know, just in front of that. And it's called All Over Now. And that photograph was taken right in that area, and that's what that one looked like. And you can find this slant rock right here, located in that area of, um, of the battlefield. So you find the slant rock and kind of walk right in front of it. One of the cool things about this, or one of the interesting things, is that the Devil's Den is, doesn't have as many rocks as it used to. Um, there was this, they, for the park road, they destroyed and removed some of the rocks for it. There was a trolley line that ran through here. Um, that one point that would take uh, people to this park and to the photography studio that would uh, that removed a lot of the rocks but you can go out and you can find some interesting things there's some other things you can find um, up here in this area right in here there's a rock carving co from P Noel N O E L there is a rock carving out here in this area on these rocks there's uh, elephant rock is out here on top of what they call elephant rock. You call it elephant rock because if you look at it from the side, it looks like the trunk of an elephant. But out here is elephant rock, and on top of it, there's a one. Um, there is uh, carvings on top of these rocks that you can go and you can find, and they're available. Uh, they're not too hard to... Some of them are harder than others to see. There is also, um, out in this area... Out in this area, out in here, there is, uh, I'm not, I can't remember the exact location, but my son and I found it one time. Uh, there's a stone marker that shows the, uh, has a T on it that shows the boundary of the Tipton Photography Studio. So you can find that one out there too. It's a little stone uh, marker. It just has a T on it. It's really hard to find, but it is out there uh, in the woods. So just some places that you can go and explore around the battlefield and um, right around Devil's Den and find some of those original locations. If you have questions, always check me out over at teachthecivilwar.com.